primitive art. I like the rhythm. It's got rhythm. I'll give him that. The Beatles, huh? Are they in costumes or that's really them? That guy's too weird. Now he's beating a dead lion. One thing, they picked all the good looking people here. These legitimate artists that have a record deal? Totally lost. Ooh, I kind of like this. I look like tweaker heaven. Wait, does she look ugly there? Those teeth. Is this an advertisement for dental work? Unless somebody had a real heavy acid trip. Interesting, unusual characters. Well, very creative. A little bit out there. Oh, look at that. Oh. Nice effect. Well, that's rather disturbing. Interesting and confusing. They crazy, straight out. She's gonna jump? Black cats. White cats. All my zip cats. Oh, it's about animals now. Big dog in the place to be. Pitbull. Terrier. <laughs> It's so stupid. For bad boy. I can see this getting a lot of views of just who's viewing it. I like the beat of this. <laughs> oh man, it's just gross. It's not that I'm grossed out. It's not that I'm freaked out. It's just boring as hell. That would scare me to death if that happened. Bloody, bloody face. I... I have no idea what it is, but it's pretty bloody and disgusting. <laughs> it's Darth Vader. No, Mrs. Darth Vader. Yeah, boy. Are you crazy? It's gonna tame him, huh? Yeah, I have no idea what this is all about. <laughs> sure put a lot of time, effort, and money into this thing. Uh. Oh, gross. <laughs> this is pretty freaking stupid, dudes. This is the sickest of the sickest I've seen. That was brutal, but very creative. Gotta give him A for thinking of some really amazing crap that I've never seen before. That is weird. What is it? Okay, so what did you think about the videos you just experienced? Well, it's very interesting. It's very creative. Visually, very wonderful. The music is awful. Uh, it's disgusting. There's no redeeming quality to it. Somebody put a lot of time, money, and effort behind being as extreme as they possibly could, which I thought was such an effort that it went way over the top and subsequently became incredibly boring. I think when we do stuff like this for the public to see, it shouldn't be as crazy because you gotta think about the young people and what they look at and what they see. It's very extreme. It's something like I've never seen before. Well, this was the musical artist The Antwerd, which is Afrikaans for the answer. They're a South African rap rave group. Okay. I know of rap. What's rap rave? But con combine rap and rave? Some people have wondered if their music and videos are a joke or a hoax because it's so extreme. What do you think? What do I think it is? I think it's obviously trying to tell a story. I don't think it's an entire hoax. It's stream on purpose, it's extreme cells. I mean, they're looking for a niche, they're looking for to make a name for themselves. I don't know and it, I don't care. Um, it's just not something I would ever listen to, especially listen to or watch again. One of D'Antwoord's lead musicians, Ninja, has said that he sees their work as an exaggerated experience. He says people are unconscious and you have to use your art as a shock machine to wake them up. 
Do you find any truth to that statement? I wouldn't go that far. No, that's not going to wake anybody up. It's just going to make them disgusted. Yes, people need to wake up, but I'm not worried about them waking up to this kind of music. I'm worried about them waking up to the political situation and all different situations we need to actually work on and make better for people. But this, no. People are, are sitting back. There's wars here, there's war there, and we don't think about it. We just go on with our daily life. So maybe that is a good way to wake people up and make them at least think about what's going on in the world. The band has said that their style incorporates elements of Zeph culture, which is an Afrikaans slang word, and the band describes it as you're poor but you're fancy, that you don't care what anyone else thinks of you. After hearing this, can you see how this type of culture was represented in their videos? Definitely. Yeah, they certainly don't care what people think of them. No, I think they care deeply about what people think. Or why would they have gone to that kind of effort? That's a lot of production. I don't know enough about their culture to tell you that. I can see the shock value, but I don't see the interpretation of the culture. Well, the band has a cult-like following with fans who praise the band for their creativity and originality. There are many fans who have even been inspired to become creative themselves and have produced fan art of the band. What do you think about the band sparking creativity in people? Um, art's a wonderful thing. I'm a film school graduate, so art is just great. It's very vivid and colorful. I guess you could get inspired by it. <laughs> Maybe you'd have to be younger to get inspired by it. The younger kids and younger people have a, a, a visual and uh, an emotional attachment to what they see. They can see something in it that I don't see. And obviously so, there's a difference in my culture and their culture and backgrounds. You might inspire those people, but it's not inspiring them to anything good. Creativity isn't always a good thing. I mean, I can show you 16 ways to set yourself on fire, but that's not a good thing. Do I find this shocking? No, I find it stupid. <laughs> you know, that if other people find it inspiring and this is their muse, that's the beauty of music, is there's gonna be something for absolutely everybody. I hope it doesn't inspire negative behavior is what I'm more worried about, which proves I'm an old person. You know, I'm worried about now kids. The band has a new album coming out soon, and they put out a teaser for their new music video recently. Would you like to watch it? Oh, okay. Yes. Bring it on, man. I don't think so. <laughs> I want to sleep tonight. I have a feeling if I said no, it wouldn't make any difference whether I wanted to watch the goddamn thing or not. She gets everything she wants. That caught me. But her eyes are incredible. Everything for free. Other parts of her are incredible too, but... <laughs> Your whole life with her little Gucci Gucci. What was that? That's it. Wow. That makes you want more, doesn't it? That's it. Oh, did you want to see more? No. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. If you like what you saw, then hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments what we should react to next. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everyone.